I was washing my car this morning when people started to shout at me. That's when I realized I stopped taking my meds a week ago and it wasn't my car I was washing, but rather somebody else's stopped at a red light. And that got me thinking. Good day, you absolute legends. Welcome back to another edition of Update News. Today's hot topic is... Now that is right, ladies and gentlemen. But before we do get into today's video, as always, can I just ask if you are new around here, you enjoyed today's video, and you enjoy the videos that I make, you've been watching me for a while even, then why not hit that subscribe button? Also, don't forget, be absolute legends, leave a like on this very video. It really does help me out a lot, but it really does help this video get out there to the wider YouTube audience especially with the big changes that have just happened in Norman Sky. All right, let's get into today's video. So onwards with today's news. Now, a massive update has happened for Norman Sky. It's been released over to the public branch. Now, this update happened late yesterday evening with the community reporting a massive eight gigabyte update, as you can see from some of the comments right here. So as always, if we go over to Murray Watch over on X or Twitter or wherever it is you want to call it these days, and if we look a little bit further down we can see that there is in fact a massive patch update but what's included within this update why is it an 8.8 .8 gigabyte size update what's included that really really does make it that size so let's have a quick look so i'm not going to bore you reading absolutely all of this site but i'll just give you the generalized summary of it they fixed an absolutely bought load of stuff that, that's basically what they've done. But I'll have it on screen right now. Feel free to pause the video and have a read of it yourself at your own leisure. But yeah, basically, long story short, they've fixed a load of stuff. Uh, everything to do with NPCs, maps, uh, quest lines that all seem to be all patched up now. Things to do with ships and menus and language names, displays and all kinds of stuff, even holographic previews. I mean, it's all been kind of fixed up, but does it really warrant an 8.8 .8 gigabyte update? Something about this seems a little bit fishy to me. Now, let's think about it. If it was just a normal patch update, like with all those patches, and don't get me wrong, there is quite a lot there. Like I said, you know, it's everything from that has been going over to experimental in recent, kind of like the last week or two, and it's now gone all, all over to public, which we've already covered in previous videos. Now, if it was just a normal patch update like that, then it's just called it, it doesn't warrant 8.8 .8 gigabytes of update material. It, it just doesn't amount to that size, no matter how many patches you do. It's literally bits of information at that point, even for all those patches. But an 8.8 .8 gigabyte update signifies that it is something to do with content. Now, as we know, we are still waiting for the expedition. Even though it is really, 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 really at this point late to the party, especially for Orbital, it's probably one of the latest expeditions yet, we are still expecting it. So it probably means that the 8.8 .8 gigabytes, most of that is probably the expedition being preloaded onto your computer or onto your console for when they flip it live on the servers at Hello Games. Now, when that flicks live, you'll have all the files, everything ready to go, and then we can all enjoy the expedition without any additional downloads. So that would make the most sense to me. Now, additionally on top of that, because of the size of the actual update itself, and the fact that we know, especially from yesterday's video I talked about it, that Hello Games have stopped people from data mining the game files by changing a lot of things that the data miners use in order to access the game files. So essentially what's stopping the team from preloading the next major update, or should I say files for the next major update, such as assets and things like that, right now onto our consoles or onto our PC, seems all we don't at this very moment have access to the game files to see what exactly is going on. So it could be something to do with that. Just again, with how big the update was at 8.8 .8 gigabyte, it's definitely a sizable update, but without any information on the game files themselves from data miners at this moment in time until they officially fix what Hello Games has tried to try to stop, then we don't know exactly what's new in the game files with this update. But I figure once we do get access to that, we're going to find some pretty interesting things. So what happens next? So we've just had this massive update with a file size that makes no sense for what was officially announced for that update and what was included in it. So what happens next? Well, essentially, if it is the expedition, which is probably the most likely thing that it, it is, to be honest with you, then it could be dropping now at any time. 
time. I mean, anywhere between now and, and a week away, things can change overnight. It could drop tomorrow morning. It could drop, you know, in a few days. It, we just don't know until it does. However, as always, just keep watching the Quicksilver shop. Once the tiers have all completed and we have the new items from that, that's usually a good indication that the next thing would probably be the expedition because expeditions, they bring new content, new items that we'll need to unlock in that shop. So they can't do that until that's over with. So always keep a good look out for that. Also, any announcements for Mr. Murray, keep watching on, on Murray Watch as well. I'll be doing the same. And as soon as I have any more information, you'll be the first to know. But ladies and gentlemen, as always, let me know in the comment section what you think about this 8.8 gigabyte update. Do you agree with my assessment that it doesn't make sense for this file size to what was actually officially announced? Do you think that there's maybe something hidden in the game files, such as, you know, maybe some more content that we can't see? Maybe it's to do with the expedition. Do you think it's going to be the expedition and it's been preloaded on, like with my assessment? Or do you think it's more than that? Again, I can't rule that out 100%. So let me know what you think in the comments comment section down below you know what to do anyway ladies and gentlemen that's everything from me here today and as always my name is professor cynical and i'll catch you all again in the next one bye for now